it's a pre-recorded presentation. It's a used in rheumatic diseases in Qatar population. A four-year real-world data. Introduction. Similar to so other real-world data reports, the U.S. Corona RA registry showed tofacitinib and biological DMARDs had a similar rate of major adverse cardiovascular events, MACE, malignancy, and venous thromboembolism, VTE. However, oral surveillance revealed higher rate of MACE and malignancy than tumor necrosis factor inhibitors, TNF inhibitors. Objective, explore the rate of malignancy and MACE in patients with autoimmune rheumatic diseases, ARDs, received Janus kinase inhibitors, JAK inhibitors in Qatar population. Methods, patients with ARDs who received JAK inhibitors, tofacitinib, upadacitinib, and baricitinib from 1st January 2018 to 1st November 2022 were captured electronically from the pharmacy database of Hamad Medical Corporation. The electronic medical records of these patients were reviewed retrospectively to identify demographics, clinical characteristics, MACE, VTE, shingles, and malignancy post JAK inhibitor initiation. Results Demographic characteristics. 188 JAK inhibitor treatment courses were identified from the pharmacy database. Tofacitinib was most common, 163, that is 88.6%, followed by upadacitinib, 13, that is 7.1%, and baricitinib, 8, that is 4.3%. Of these, Four prescriptions were not dispensed, hence excluded from the analysis. Mean age of the patients was 51 years, female were 75%. Ethnicities distribution was Arab 73%, Asians 21% and others 5%. Mean duration of JAK inhibitor exposure was 25 months. Char results ARD characteristics Mean duration of ARDs was 9.2 years. Rheumatoid arthritis diagnosed in 129, that is 70%, patients followed by psoriatic arthritis 28, that is 15%, axial spondyloarthropathy 13, that is 7%, and others in 14, that is 7.6% patients. The comorbidity profile, hypertension, diabetes mellitus, dyslipidemia, and coronary artery disease was 28%, 23%, 25%, and 6.5% respectively. Two patients got shingles, one during tofacitinib and another during upadacitinib. New cancer diagnosis, that is follicular thyroid, was confirmed in one patient post tofacitinib and one case developed a lymphoma relapse after tofacitinib initiation. One ischemic cerebrovascular accident, CVA, identified post tofacitinib initiation. This patient was in atrial fibrillation when CVA occurred. No VTE reported from this cohort. Conclusion Data from this cohort, which had a quite good period of JAK inhibitor exposure showed an extremely low rate of MACE and malignancy rates. A study with a control group is needed for further exploration of the association of MACE and malignancy with JAK inhibitor. Thank you.